Hi, I'm Exusis, and this is Terra Invicta, where we are playing as the Resistance. Uh, that's, uh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so let's check Pakistan out. Oh, we can actually see, uh, just so you know what's going on here. Uh, ships and please, we've got the uh, aliens, so we've got a dreadnought in the sky, and we've got two, uh, two ships inbound. Uh, 3rd of June, 5th of June. It would be nice to actually take this dreadnought out. Uh, the eternal horror. Oh, it's a forlorn, 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 forlorn grave. Okay. Um, yeah. Not sure what we're going to do that though. Because they're going to be on us again. Uh, how are we doing for mission control? Yeah, we need more mission control. I'm going to have to look after those. Uh, Tech-wise, we are... Yeah, I was into the tree here. We have to start going for ring hubs. Um, after Colgans, we're probably going to pick up mission to Mercury before that. We've got a few others to do here as well. 5th of July. Yeah, that should be fine. We can uh, go on this slot. Yeah, we're going very heavy on this one at the moment. So we should probably try to get some more skunk works up into into service as well. Uh, probably on some of these other ones. What's going on on this base? Why don't you have a name? Are we planning to sell you? Uh, this was a very good water site. Because the farm helps a little bit. No, we just ended up uh, in the wrong direction there. It's just below these asteroid bases. And it's not alphabetical, this one. Um, okay, so uh, we need to speed up, of course, otherwise nothing's going to happen. We've set the assignments for everyone last turn. Let's just quickly check our council. Uh, no one has any experience to spend. Do we have any good organizations? Probably nothing that we can pick up. No, we're full on admin. We need to increase admin on everyone. Now we probably should trying to be trying to picking up some of these uh, miners. The Bangladesh, yeah, they're done with mission control. Pakistan, building space defenses, uh, I guess that's fine. Uh, Nepal, just doing stuff, uh, boost, uh, probably better off doing funding in these nations actually. Rather than, and India's got the claim there now, so that's perfect. Uh, we are doing funding here, and we probably want to uh, go over into funding here as well, once the space defense is complete. Actually, I think it's probably better that India builds the space defenses afterwards. we we'll build up some funding here. What more nations do we have? We've got Singapore. We probably lay off the boost now. We are making so much boost out of Singapore. We're using a lot of boost too from the hubs though. So. Uh, I think maybe we move this over to to that as well. I probably don't need anything into economy. Uh, inequality is already low here. Uh, knowledge is uh, well, it's high. Uh oh, we got way too much unity. Now we can probably grow the... No, we've got way too much GDP here as well. Yeah, let's just put it into funding. Um, boost we can just lay off there. We are building lots of things here. We probably want to lay off with Unity in China now. We are the good enough uh, cohesion here. Or maybe we want to keep just one for the public opinion. 
Uh, and we need more into welfare here, I think. And knowledge. We need to start trying to make this a democracy. Uh, funding is probably not worth it here. I need to put a little bit into the space defenses, of course. India, then. Uh, we need more unity here. We need to increase that. We need more welfare as well. And more knowledge. And we can definitely grow the economy here as well. I can get rid of funding and we will let it be this way instead. Yeah, we're still putting a lot into the military trying to develop that one. But we're still we're trying to make India into a worthwhile country for us to keep as well. Uh, do we have anything, any other holdings? Not sure we've moved out of this region. Yeah, we got Sri Lanka. Uh, Sri Lanka isn't integrated yet. We don't need to be doing this. Let's do it that way instead. We just build funding here until we can actually integrate them. It shouldn't be that long either. Um, oh yeah, we're going to integrate them militarily and we're going to do that very soon. That's how we said it. Okay, so... Big question is, do we want to... Probably. Um, we probably want to merge these fleets together. A dreadnought is a, a big ship, but it is sitting alone there at the moment. Let's see if we can find it here. There we go. If we look at this one, this is a 24,000 ton ship. Now it's carrying loads of lasers. We are probably going to lose a couple of ships to this one. But I think taking it out is going to help us in the future. It's one less large ship that they have. And um, well, the, the aliens have way too many ships already. We've let them build lots of things. Let's uh, let's knock something that they, uh, they like out there. Um, that's not happening. So we need to transfer this one. Victor 121. What do we have? We've got 180 combat power. He's got 600. He should accept the fight with us. Uh, ours are, of course, very slow, so we won't be able to actually do anything. Well, that doesn't matter. 0 0.16 Delta V. We will transfer. Uh, lay defenses are alright. Uh, Reinforce 1 is available for operations. Yeah, but you're still transferring, right? We just got some, some company out here. Whatever this one is doing following us. It's escorting us escorting us down. Where are we heading? Oh yeah, we're, we're heading out to some asteroids. Oh, we might blow them up, I guess. We'll see what happens. And let's uh, confirm everything and let's start rolling. Now we're obviously going to engage them. And they are willing to fight, so uh, let's start this battle. And uh, well, we're going in as usual. Now we've got so many ships here in uh, information, though, that I think we are worth going for a high wall. This is more of a 3D formation. You can see that our, our ships are now layered up in uh, uh, well, four rows of three, or three rows of four, however you want to look at it. And this doesn't really make a big difference here, but if you've got point defenses, they can help each other out a little bit when you're flying like this. And uh, I would like to just launch salvos, but I think 
because there are a couple of other ships coming in here right afterwards. But we will just set uh, do as we usually do. Uh, padlock him, I go in, and we will launch as soon as they are in range. Yeah, I was supposed to check how you remove all of these UI elements. Now they're starting to fire off their torpedoes. I will uh, have a look here at the Forlorn Grave. He is maneuvering. And I uh, don't think that's going to help him very much once all of this comes in. Hopefully all of his lasers will be much too busy trying to shoot down our... No, he's uh, shooting at our escort. I was thinking maybe he'll just shoot at the incoming missiles. And now he's targeting the missiles instead. He's seeing that this is, uh, this is a bad day coming his way. That's a shame that these are launching late. They were probably turned down by his ECM. Let's just hope this is enough torpedoes to actually dent this front armor. There we go. That is a very big ship we just destroyed. That's a very pretty explosion. And uh, we got all our ships still intact, so that's nice. And the aliens are not going to be happy about this, of course, but uh, we'll deal with it the usual way. And we got two, two of those ships inbound, so we might actually just destroy those as well. Uh, now the big problem is that none of our ships have any missiles left. We completely emptied our magazines. Wow, that was a really good haul as well of uh, exotics. Uh, I'll just need to speed up here. Uh, we will launch straight back to Gateway Earth. Uh, fastest arrival date possible, thank you. I was kind of hoping a few of them would, would die so we could start building the, uh, the larger var variants. But um, this is the way it is. Going silent. Offering assistance. And they just need to repair here now. They will be done the third of you, and that's when the other ones arrived. And this didn't actually pop up the hate meter. I am very surprised that they just let us. Uh, Destroy that one. Uh, we want to uh, close this one. Well, let's take out another one then. There's no point in letting them have have ships here. We're gonna split this fleet. Uh, did we have different? No, these are all exactly the same now. And so we'll just make two uh, two even fleets again. We will select these, and we can uh, head off here to this frigid. And they should engage us there as well. We might as well try to blow up a few of these. Uh, let's get this uh, ledger out here again. If we have the opportunity to cull a few of them, we want to cull a few of them. And this is uh, Task Force Earth 2 again. We just uh, at least try to keep them out of orbit. We are going to have to make ships that have a little bit more Delta V soon, so we can actually intercept things as well. Or try to intercept at least. A burner isn't really the best weapon or best drive for that. And uh, we are going to engage this one. And we will start this battle as well. Uh, now, high wall I don't really think makes a very much sense here. What's a short wall? Well, that makes more sense. Uh, we'll go in fast as usual. And we can get a little bit nicer at least. Uh, this one might actually be maneuvering a little bit. Uh, we'll just padlock this one anyway. Uh, let's select this one. Let's zoom in a little bit. And uh, let's uh, go forward. We're just uh, drifting forward here of course. I thought you could actually get rid of these uh, maneuvering lines as well. There we 
letting these loose, of course. Let's see what he's doing up here. Oh, I can't even select him without the combat UI, of course. I think you're, you're able to hide these uh, maneuvering lines somewhere as well. All the missiles are left off. I have to look into that one as well. Because I know I took some screenshots for the title screen and I removed them all. That's a big ball of plasma. That's so fast. Oh, he actually got destroyed by the very first hit. Ah, there we go. Uh, that, since that was plasma in quite a distance, I don't think it really made a dent in our ships. One of them is going to show up as damaged anyway, I guess. I'm going to have to repair some armor. The plasma weapons were quite inert, so they mostly just destroy the armor. That's quite a good haul, that too. And uh, it seems that they're not pissed at us yet either. That might change now, though. When we press uh, continue. Now uh, we need to go back home. Oh, I must have... Uh, maybe they blew up one of our large stations last time, didn't they? So maybe they've uh, we've popped down well below the uh, eight threshold there. I don't know who we sent last time. Did we send Task Force 1? Probably. I can probably check that here too. Yeah, so let's send the Task Force 2 this time then. Let's uh, keep Earth orbit clear. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wonder where he went to. He probably ran away, didn't he? Oh yeah, look at that. That means that if we go to Earth here, we should have uh, no more really inbound here. Was 10th of July. What do you, why do you show up on Earth? If you're docked on Stone Tower Station in Estonia orbit. Uh, my guess is that this rock is uh, not very close to Earth. And I got a oh, I got a ring have out here and loads. Where is this asteroid then? No idea, but there's loads and loads and loads of ships out here. And there we go. And they probably have a mining base there too. Uh, in the solar system, we are. Well, I think it's outside of Saturn's orbit, isn't it? Earth, Mars, no. Uh, okay, it's in the asteroid belt. It's still quite a bit away from Earth. Okay, so this is the one that... Uh, no, this is the one that's uh, arriving. Isn't it? No, they're heading for Gateway Mars. Uh, maybe they don't like us too much then. Uh, we'll see when they arrive there. Uh, we've got enough frigates or enough escorts down that we should be able to deal with these. That probably means that we've got our... Where are you? No, they arrived back, so... I just fly, fly back home. I don't have anyone there at the moment. Yeah, thank you. Chennai, who's at war? Oh, no. We're moving the Chinese forces up here. Oh, yeah, we're already trying to integrate Bangladesh. Huh? Completely forgot about that. We're currently at war with them. But we're gonna have to dismantle this Pakistani army as well. The people will come to our side. The people.
people will come to our side. I don't think we actually need more public support there. That's good. Order We've got returning. two armies here. The question is if we want to wait for this. Policy direction complete. No, oh, okay, we we're, we're already ahead of ourselves here. Yeah, we need to disband uh, disband the second strike corps. I'm gonna have to declare war on them as well, of course. Infiltrated. So we have uh, someone is leaking our secrets. And money talks. Yeah, we don't have a lot of money in this playthrough though. We haven't been spoiling anything, so we have loads and loads and loads of this though. Yeah, well, let's uh, let's take in some external help. I think that's uh, fair enough. We've got loads of influence. We could probably use this for a direct investment. The reason that conflict stains human history is because something in our nature causes us to hate our neighbor. Yet we have learned to overcome that urge, that fear. We must remain conscious, however, that a galactic neighbor may initially behave as thoughtlessly we once did. Chancellor Li Qingzhao, preparing for first contact and beyond. Yeah, uh, Colgans is probably a good good thing there for first contact. Okay, so the big question is do we go mission to Mercury? This one should be finished fairly quickly. We do need to... We may might need to build something out on Venus as well. So I think we can probably fly from Earth orbit directly. Um, yeah, so we want to grab that one. And uh, February 34, yeah, I think that's fair enough. And 2nd of July, that's very soon, and we're going to need to get the uh, outpost modules. We do have them unlocked, so it's just a question of knocking them out and they're fairly cheap ticks. Uh, we should be occupying Bangladesh there soon. Who's coming in here again? Oh, this is our two other armies, alright. And then we're deploying them too. And we have everyone there. I thought it was the Soviets invading first, but uh, that's a Chinese flag, of course. That's going to be good. Um, yeah, uh, they say that we're getting close to this uh, mission control cap. And uh, don't know if it's actually mission at 126 the cap is, or the soft cap is, or if it's at 166. I think it's at 166 now. And I think we're okay losing a slot here at the moment. We've got so much other things that we need to focus on. We can always regain that one later on. Now we do want to head in. towards orbitals, of course. Oh, yeah. Well, Samsor can go and take care of these. We are going in. There's really no point in us. Well, what's he going to do here? No idea. Maybe we're going to de declare war on someone. But I think we, we're already at war here, aren't we? Yeah, you're already at war. And uh, we don't have the armies ready to go in for Pakistan just yet. Ready for my mission. And uh, neither do we have the ones to go for Nepal. Standing by for orders. We are going to get some more soon. Probably have unrest problems somewhere. We always have unrest problems. Now we can lower it we'll a little bit here. Peace to this nation. Standing by for orders. Standing by for orders. Hey, India is a good one for that. We'll restore peace to this nation. Are those the only Ready ones for I have? Orders. 
Maybe I'm just so bad at this, aren't you? Tajikistan. Well, they're on our border, and we'd rather they not be on our border. We probably won't succeed with that one, but it's a little bit of experience at least. As far as experience goes, no, no one has anything, and uh, no new orgs should be just yet. Let's uh, confirm this, and this should go a little bit quicker. Um, okay. Sun Earth. Oh yeah, these are the new marine transports, aren't, aren't they? It should be. Are we all going to merge the fleets here? No? Yeah. Let me just double check that this indeed was what the hounds were. Yeah, marine assault units. Yeah, I went with bridges so we can have a few more and then the slush hydrogen tank is there just to get the range up. I think we were building more of these, weren't we? No, we don't need more, because now we have six of them on the same one. We might need, I might have a need for these, shortly. That's the, the second variance then. There we are. Really lacking a lot of mission control. It might actually be worth trying to pawn off some of these lunar bases. Or these asteroid bases, I guess. Yeah, the other way around. I mean, these are, these are the really good fissile sites we have. Uh, nobles. No, oh, I only want to look at my bases, of course. Oh, I've got some good sites on Mars for that. Yeah, no, we, we need more mission control. I guess we could build another installation in... Uh, yeah, Sri Lanka shouldn't have very much to... Put, put against us here. Why did we repeat that one? Things are cooling off. Violence is abating. Yeah, keep doing that because you're going to have Things to integrate this country soon. And that will probably bring it up the a little LV bit. Secure. No, we wiped everything out. That's nice. Yeah, you got high command. Their defense was too strong. Yeah, that's the one we didn't expect to go through. <laughs> Okay, so we finished the Hydra inter interrogation project. Because the Hydra spoken language is so simple, and complex factor factors such as menacing and tone spring primarily tone from all factory emissions. It has taken incredible time and patience to divine useful meaning from our captives' multisensory declarations. Every failure is an opportunity to learn, of course, and unfortunately, that end our questioning reached only granted greater insight into the alien strange language. After countless such stumbles, a discourse of sorts has been established. Our interrogation of our captive has yielded critical information, Commander. We have completed the interrogate the captive Hydra objective. As the interrogation began, the atmosphere in the room was tense. Many of our personnel believed that the Hydra would simply not respond. It was with surprise and relief that we saw that our sensors were picking up parasite activity. As it turned out, the Hydra was quite willing to speak, though whether it can be considered cooperative is another matter. The full transcript of the interrogation is attached. Translator's note, 
Subtext and emotion in the Hydra language are primarily conveyed by ferrocytes. We have indicated the emotional state of each statement with curved brackets, where the exact translation is not possible. We have used asterisks to indicate our best fit approximations. Some terms are unfortunately entirely incompre incomprehensible and are marked as untranslatable. We believe these to be proper nouns or technical terms for which our language has no equivalent. Species known as untranslatable. Individual called untranslatable. Untranslatable of untranslatable. Voucher. All true Hydra share membership in defense consensus. Uh, origin species reveal. Edge of the star system, astronomical body rich in resources necessary for. Untranslatable, defined successful, project completion is inevitable. Clarify origin species planet. Defiant acts of untranslatable are forbidden. Wild species must be kept at safe separation. Access to gate by wild species is forbidden. Query classify gate. Shame anger, no, release now. Translators note, at this point, the Hydra became agitated and refused to answer further questions. So we have been able to start talking to them, but uh, we don't really know what they're saying. So we, we're going to get another one here to try to find out what their purpose is. And uh, we're going to have to research wormholes. Our captive made brief mention of a gate used by its species. This is evidence in support of the wormhole theory as how the Hydras were able to make the journey across deep space. While a single remark from a single captive is not proof, many of our researchers are keen to begin exploring potential ways by which we might detect a stabilized wormhole joining our solar system to another. If such an object truly exists, it is in all likelihood the heart of the alien offensive against our world. So we, we've already done everything that we need to do for this one to unlock. So we'll just have to wait for that one. And while we are waiting, we are going to need solar platform kits. No, not platforms. Um, I think I put them up here. The solar outpost kits. And this is a super cheap one. So we'll be done in three days. We can probably put it down a little bit like so. And the foam and armor is going to be good for our warships as well. And uh, our ba Bangladesh should soon be integrated at least. And now we've got four armies working here on Sri Lanka. Okay, so we arrived in uh, an orbit out, way out here. We can... Uh, Cold gun batteries, we will favorite those. Okay. Uh, no, Victor is still uh, following us around here. What did we do out here? I think there was a base out here to assault, right? Uh, can't do that with Victor though. We want our Marine Force. It actually looks like we're es escorting him at this point. Oh yeah, there we go. And this one produces not a lot, a lot of goods. But I think we are just taking it from the servants because the servants don't deserve to have it. Now oh, what do we have here? We've got a, a fishing complex. They've actually got a construction module out here too. And let's, uh, let's assault this one. What do we have in all of these? Uh, these are the ones we're building, of course. Well, we need to look at this one, because the mine doesn't actually have any power. And if there's something we want to have power here, it's the mine. And the space dock. Why can't we shut the space dock down? We're just missing two power or something like that.
Oh, we're missing 10 power. The solar array is not going to help us here, no. Actually, if we, if we could just remove this one. I guess we can decommission it. I think we built this one just to uh, resupply our... Yeah, let's, let's do it that way. And then we should have the power to be able to turn the mine on. This is a very good fissile site, so of course we want the mine on. And lucky we caught that one. We're getting way too many of these bases for going into Mercury. Uh, this doesn't help. Uh, these don't help, of course, either. And we need to start building research campuses down there. Now we're gonna have to build some mission control as well. We might as well do that in... I think we can throw up another station here, I think. Oh yeah, we do have this one going up. And this one costs us two, one. So it's going to net us four mission control. Very expensive mission control. Question is if we want to have the solar platform kits and we can build some of those in Mercury when we arrive there as well. But we kind of need that cap before. How are our allies or enemies doing? And let's more check the resource. I figured if you just shift click this one, you get them all. He could do with some more, I guess. He's got loads of boost. That mission control is where they're all stopped at. Uh, we don't really know that the where the academy are. We might want to help uh, help Castile out a little bit here. Oh, we give we give one base off to the academy. I don't know which one is our worst base. That would require a little bit of uh, checking through. Okay, so we need to send Samsar in to defend China again. Securing our interests. We don't really need to be lowering... Yeah, the unrest is going to go up a little bit as soon as Bangladesh is integrated, so we might as well. But we need... We need to start working on all of these nations down here, I think, with Indonesia. The question is, which one do we work on first? Do we work on Indonesia first? I think we can in integrate Australia into Indonesia. That means we need to start popping. I'm here. Oh yeah, Samsa would be good to do that with. Where do you need me? I don't think we've got. Yeah, I'm you here. can do. You can defend the interests here in China. Making we can send Samsa off to destroy these in. life forms in Tajikistan. At your service. Get up. That means we can send Nari. Standing by for order. Acknowledged. I think uh, we probably want to start working our way into Indonesia. I will try to swear the Actually, maybe we we'll start with the miners so we can start building them up. Because we need mission control in all of these as well. Your orders? I know you can't do a crackdown, but you can do. Why would that? Oh, control nation, of course. Uh, public campaign. Make it our kiss. And now Ready we for can our mission. Run, uh, Where we do you need me? Don't really have the spots for it yet, do we? We can go over a little bit. That's Going fine. after their people. And the space by. program was almost completed here as well. Where to? And we'll just purge them out from here. Removing our enemies. We probably didn't, didn't even need I'm the crack here. down there. What more do we have for small nations around here? The European Union. That one's going to be tougher to pick off from them. I will try to sway the public. You know, we'll do something like that. It's fine. But um, that's going to be all for today. So thank you very much for watching. 
take care and see you next time.